And our third main topic gets sent in to us by Calvin Hobbes. Oh, I see what you did there. <laughs> Calvin and Hobbes, one of the greatest comic strips of all time. Anyway, Calvin Hobbes writes, Hey, John, I don't know if you've ever read the comic Nemesis. It's basically a Batman-like character, rich, skilled, no superpowers, but he's insanely evil. Anyway, I just read that uh, Emerald Fennel, who is writing the script for a live, is writing the script for a live-action movie. She just won an Oscar for writing *Promising Young Woman*. I think this has the potential to be the greatest comic book movie ever made. What are your thoughts? All right, thanks a lot for sending that in, man. And listen, the re the reality is. You hear us say nemesis, and right. most of you probably don't know what we're talking about. No, it's the last Star Trek movie with the Next Generation cast, right? Yeah, that's what it is, right? Right. So <laughs> here's the thing. Back in the day, um, when uh, I brought on this guy to start working with me, this uh, little guy, very diminutive in stature, very, very quiet, very shy guy named John Schnepp. Um who is obviously none of those things. Uh, John Schnepp and I, when we started walk, uh, working together, one of the very first, if not the first comic book, uh, graphic novel story that he ever recommended to me was this graphic novel called Nemesis. And I remember the next day he came into the office and he brought in a copy of it for me. And I'm like, okay. And, and basically he said, think of a Bruce Wayne and a Batman only he's incredibly twisted and very, very evil. And what kind of havoc that could cause on a world. I'm like, okay, that sounds interesting. So I take this, this comic and Rob, without exaggeration, I couldn't put, I didn't put it down once until I finished it. <laughs> I, I just, you couldn't, I couldn't stop. It is one of the most interesting and, and, and you got to get beyond the, oh, it's Batman, but if he was, it, 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 but he's, but if he was evil, right, that is accurate it, in a way, but it's so much more. And the story of the underlying drama between him and this police chief and the games that get played and what this guy is capable of. This was a, a story that it just instantly enthralled me. And I thought two things. I remember Schnepp and I talked about this. It's like, this could be like the greatest comic book movie ever. If it had, it had the potential at least to be yeah. like one of the, if not the greatest comic book movie ever, if it's done right. But you can say that a lot about a lot of comic book stories, but it is so modern in its drama. The drama in it is incredible. And it's all character. And yep. the action is great and all this kind of stuff. But we also both agreed this is never going to happen, though, because nobody <laughs> knows Nemesis. Nobody's ever heard of this. It's it's a, maybe a little bit too dark. If it was a popular IP, maybe you could go this dark, blah, blah, blah. But now here they come, and they are doing it. Now, I heard whispers that they were going to try to do it before and that they were getting things moving, but I just dismissed it immediately that it's not going to happen. And now, Rob, they go out and they get a reigning Oscar-winning writer to come in and pen the script for this thing. This, to me, is insane. Now, this comes just from the folks over at Movie Web who writes, The Nemesis movie is moving forward with promising young woman filmmaker uh, Emerald Fennel, the comic book writer Mark Millar who created and wrote the Nemesis comic book series for Marvel Comics, has announced that Fennel wrote, this, wrote the latest screenplay for the long gestating project. It's not clear if Fennel is also intended to direct, uh, and no director has officially been attached to the movie at this time. Uh, Emerald Fennel, who just won an Oscar for Best Screenplay for Promising Omen, has just delivered the latest draft of the Nemesis screenplay, which is extremely cool, uh, Miller said. Rob, when... You take a story that I think I have thought for almost 10 years that this is a story that has the potential to maybe be like one of the greatest, if not the greatest comic book movie of all time, if done right. And now they're bringing on and they brought on an Academy Award winning screenwriter to pen the script to which the original creator is saying, this is extremely cool. Look, obviously I am not here saying 
that if this does get to the next stage and gets greenlit and they make it, that it will be the greatest comic book movie of all time. Hell, I can't even sit here and say it'll be a good movie. Who knows? It might be terrible. But there are certain stories, Rob, and there are certain individual talents that carry a potential to the table that not every project has. And I just know that when I look at this, a story like Nemesis in the hands of an Oscar-winning writer, the potential for what this movie could be is unmeasurable. It's off the charts about how good this could potentially be. Anyway, you can tell I'm very excited about this news when I heard this. I am very, very stoked about this. Rob, I know you've read Nemesis. You're hearing this move. What are your thoughts and reactions to this? Oh, I, I feel the same way. I mean, you know, what I love about Nemesis is it's not like this. It doesn't pull any punches. <laughs> I mean, our, our main character, he does really bad things. <laughs> he kills lots and lots of people. And um, uh, I, I wonder how far they're not that, you know, we wallow in death, but the way that they portray him and his people and the, why he's doing what he's doing, it, it's pretty delicious, <laughs> you know, if you want to call it that. And I, I would love to see this realized. And what I think is really interesting, John, I mean, we might be reaching superhero or supervillain fatigue, but I think this is a really unique property. And I hope that it's uh, obviously the pedigree of the project now has been elevated. I, I think after watching Promising Young Woman, that Emerald Fennell could really bring something to this unique. I, I At first you might think, meh, is she the right writer? But if you really watch Promising Young Woman, I would say, yes, yes, she is. So I'm excited. The great thing too about Nemesis is that it's not it's not your typical comic book fair because it's like kind of a blending, Rob. It's a bit of an amalgamation of like an evil Batman mixed a little bit with um uh, the game, the gamemanship drama, like you would get in Michael Douglas's and Sean Penn's The Game, or it's got there's a little bit of seven in there. Yeah. It's got, I mean, it's hard to describe Nemesis to people who have never read it before, but I highly, highly, highly encourage you guys if you have never read Nemesis. Uh, do pick it up, give it a read. It was the, like I said, it's the first comic John Schnepp ever gave to me for me to read that I was really unaware of. And it has been with me and haunted me and ever since. It's just a fantastic comic story. Question is for you guys. What do you think about this news? I obviously am very excited about the potential of what this thing could be. Of course, it could turn out to be a steaming pile of garbage, whatever. But I think the potential is sky high. What do you guys think about this? Jump on down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Okay, guys. 